what we're going to be doing is that uh, we're going to take a look I'm going to open up the MMT platform right after the opening bell when that three minute bar populates but between now and then we got the opening bell we got the gap right here 291.92 by 292 we're going to take a look and see where if that's met with the sell gap or or what we do and here we go right now so basically there's the opening bell we hit a 292.10 that's that number that I gave out yesterday that's, a, that's the high on the opening bell it's the first minute print but it is a sell gap at the moment does it turn green or not this is part of that uh, bid and ask let's see if we can take out a price action high right there we're letting that thing run that's the opening bell that 10 pennies is what we were dealing with yesterday in its trend and it has to get above that 292.10 And we're also going to take a look at where we can start scaling in on the pullback. 291.70 is the low. You got to break above that high. We're only in the first minute bar. Okay, we haven't even hit the tape on three minutes, but you can see that right now the buyers and sellers are having a distribution bar. We're going to see where that support level holds, and I'm going to open up our system. Okay. Okay. So we have a gap on that one there. There's that price action being made. I'm going to put this. We're going to follow up in the next three minute bar. Here we have that opening. There's that reading. Here's half of your bar. This is the bar that we are talking about right here. Once again, 291.76 is half of that bar. That's this green bar. Has to hold that at price action. So far, the Apple trade, we were trying to add to the position that didn't give it. We're, we're letting, we're going to try to maximize that profit using that 291.76 as our low end of this half bar. Right now, we're burning in the interday range in the brain at the highs. So we're going to maintain letting this position run. Um, we were trying to add that 100 share count over there, but we were monkeying around with this platform. And as long as this thing keeps thromboning above 95 here, we're going to let this share count net entry run its course right here. And we're going to let it keep making, and we're going to see if it makes another 52 week high. Apple live on the opening bell. We have those 200 shares. We're just going to let those things run. We're going to try to scale back. But remember yesterday, once they made their peak and they put in their highs, they slid them bids. That's yesterday on Apple, how they, how they slid those bids. So once these high prices are made, as I said in pre-market update, is where do they hold? Half of this bar right here, let's take a look. That is exactly 292.36. So I need to hold above 292.36 right here on the open. And this is using the SMF platform. And basically the MMTs are, are enjoying it. We're getting higher highs out of the move. This is what we talked about. Let it keep going. Just let it keep going. Let it just keep burning. Let it keep burning. And let this thing burn up here. Uh-oh, we want to stay above 95. There it is, 96 IR. In there. Let's let that baby move. We hit 293. We made another 52-week high. And here we go. We are going to keep burning. We need to burn above that 293. Here's half that bar, half of this current bar. 
MMTs are down here at 292.52. That's half of that bar. 292.52. That's half of that bar that needs to hold support. I'm um, 73 by 76, and we're going to let this thing run. We need to get back above 90 here. If we don't hold above 85, I'm going to start selling into that move slightly below that high, and then I can get more entries. I'm at 88 on the IR. I got to stay above 85, as you know. Sorry, we went below it. We went below it. Now we're back above 85. We're trying to hold half of that bar. Half of this bar, MMTs, like I said, it's down here in the info panel. That's 292.52 right here. That's that calibrated number. We happen to be darn near 20 pennies above it. That means that momentum is strong on the open. Look at that breakout bar continue. We're back above 95. This is live right here. We're going to maximize every ounce of profit out of this that we can before they end up sliding those bids and we're making higher highs. Look at that there. I just made another higher high. There it goes. I hit a 36. I'm at a 98 in the interday range. I'm at a 97.95 price is still strong I don't have any weakness yet but I will sell into the live move there it is 28 by 33 pennies I need to maintain a reading above 95 on that price control action right there that's this part that's that inner day range keep burning baby as long as I keep burning let's see what half of that bar is half of that bar right there happens to be 293.07 that's half of this current bar I need to keep building momentum above half of the bar once it starts to to fail then that's when I will sell let's keep burning half of that bar and then we'll learn how to buy pullbacks we made another higher high we're still in that burn bar we know that that's 9307 we're 37 by 38 pennies and we're maximizing our profits we are maximizing our profits. We know we got to stay above 95 here. There we are. We're back to 100. We just made another high. We're letting this thing run its course on that opening bell before we get out of these 200 chairs here that we were teaching MMTs how to use this pricing control system in the SMF Live direct access platform right here. Hitting that three minute, that six minute. That's a famous SMF three six nine and there that is there it is i hit 53 pennies i'm at 98 by 97 i gotta stay above 95 i gotta stay above 95 I, otherwise i sell into the move if i don't stay above 95 here's half of that bar uh oh i'm at 97 I'm at 96, I'm at 95, we're going to hold, we're thromboning on the top side of that bar, no need to sell yet, we're still moving and cooking, and once again, 3, 6, 9, there we are, 3, 6, 9, there we are at 95, 96, I'm going to have to start selling into the move, because I got a distribution bar, but I'm at 97, I'm still above 95, I'm going to hold tight above 95, I'm holding tight as I can above 95. If I start to slide that bid, I've got to bounce hard off of that inner day IR, and I'm at 92. I slid the bid. They slid that bid. I'm going to be selling into the move. I'm going to be taking those profits. Am I going to get hit? Yes, they took me on 100 shares at the high right there. There's still 100 shares left. Uh, we're still up. We're still burning, but they only executed us on 100 shares. Here we have slid half of that bar, and the thing about it is I'm at 68 by 69, so selling into that top was the right thing to do. And basically, that is the top. That is sliding half of that bar. That means that I'm going to cancel all, and what it means is that I'm going to put another sell order out there. We only got executed on 100 of our shares at the high of that bar. It's on this live video on how to get the exit. So basically what we'll do is if we get back above 75, when we broke below there, you can see how that move came down in that interday range, MMTs. And you can see that half of that bar here is that it's below it. So basically if I can't get above it, and half of that bar is 293.12. And if I can't close above 293.12, then I'm going to have to sell that other 100 shares into it. But if I'm going to maintain that pullback, that's the first three-minute pullback, if I can maintain above 75, our guideline is 75 to work back up there to 95. 
So basically, when we slid that inner day range right here, I have it on the video. Let's make sure that this little box gets over here. That inner day range right there was at 100. And when we slid down here to the current one at 75, you can see how the price dropped and how we got below that bar. We have 100 shares left of the move. We'll be happy to sell into that. Um, let's see, we're out to sell at 88 cents here. Let's see if we get hit on that up bar. Let's see if that gets taken out in, the, in that upside move. They keep sliding that bid down on me. Let me go ahead and pull up that platform. Basically what we're doing everyone is that I had a limit order out to get out of these other shares and the thing about it is if I don't get back north of 70 here I'm gonna have to execute the last 100 of the lot but our other big MMTs we know that we're halfway but we're half below the bar so basically I'm gonna cancel all that hundred shares and I can always buy the pullbacks but I wanna know when I have to be a seller and the thing about it is they keep sliding it so I'm gonna put the sell out there again at 77 cents and see if he comes up and hits it he keeps sliding that bid down below me and that's part of that price action momentum that's weakening in that bid and ask here so we executed all of our shares up here when we broke half of that bar we were selling right up the top on this video on that opening bell we got that gap, we were in the trade, we sold it, we did a 369, they slid half the bar, that's what we were talking about in pre-market, that's exactly what we're talking about now. The brain is very weak in the move right here on the opening bell, so we're going to take a look at where we can start scaling in. But nonetheless, we sold way up here and right up in, in, in here, right at the high before this bar went down and we execute it out and we'll buy again 291.14 is the intraday low the brain got very weak we were executing right here it's on the film very nice 369 down this is what I'm talking about professional mathematical trading movements 369 up we got it we, we got out at the highs here MMTs this is what you're taught to do and then we had the six drop with the nine right here we're very weak right here we got to maintain above 15 here and hold that double bottom bar price action and that's the opening bell 369 up 369 down we exited we did it perfect